All right, in the last video we discussed some short stack thinking and in this video we will continue with that in reviewing some practical hands that come up typically all the time in tournaments. Remember, as a short stack, your risk tolerance is super duper wide now, more than at any other stage in the tournament. Now, that doesn't mean you have to get silly here with a hand like seven deuce offsuit, but a hand like this jack seven suited is what I like to call an opportunity. Okay, so let's look at the numbers here. You are definitely a short stack with only six big blinds left. If you get much shorter than this, you won't be able to steal any blinds because everyone will have good to even great odds to call you. So in this hand, it gets folded to you, the short stack, leaving just a single player behind you. The pot is already 450, representing about a quarter of the size of your stack. I would push with my short stack here nearly every time. Even if you lose your stack on this play, you still made the right move against a single random hand. Obviously, if you do get called in a spot like this, you are likely behind, but not by as much as you might think. Check out the matchups with the hands he calls you with. Low pairs, you are actually even. Ace king, better than one in three times you will still win. Same thing with a couple of paint cards and you are a huge favorite against connectors. Obviously, it would be kind of sad if he turns over a medium or big pair, but that's poker, and that is also your very acceptable risk scenario. Now let's say instead that another short stack beat you to the push. He shoved from middle position here, making the pot 3340. Well, this is a little more tricky because unlike where you were pushing first, this player likely has a better hand than you. So your best case scenario here is having live cards versus something like ace queen or ace king. I think this is a fold because you are losing that first in advantage. Think about it. What hand could he have where you could possibly be ahead? Maybe something like 10-9 suited. And you know what? I've definitely seen that kind of push but that's not something you want to count on for doubling up your short stack. However, there are some hands that I would consider calling with. A low pocket pair or better, a suited ace with a wheel card, or two Broadway cards taking the chance you have two over cards to his low pair. All risky, yes, but again, that's the short stack game. Now remember last video when I said ideally you want to be against one player in order to increase your chances of doubling up? Well that is true for the most part. Except in situations where you are so low, like now with only 1200 chips here for whatever reason, even a double up is still going to leave you as a short stack. So sometimes unorthodox plays are required to get yourself back in the tournament. Like calling here with your connectors can actually make sense. Yeah, you heard me. Let's look at the numbers. The first player pushes with ace-jack suited. The second player makes a weak call with king-queen offsuit. And the third player shoves his short stack with ace-king offsuit. Well, with action like that ahead, most players would fold this hand. But you know what? Your suited connectors are actually the preflop favorite here to quadruple up your stack. Now that is worth the risk. Sure, it's easy if you know the cards and there is no pair ahead of you, but even then, because you are so short, the reward for a play like this can turn your entire tournament around whenever this works out. So don't be so quick to drop hands like these without taking a few extra seconds to really study the situation. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this gives you some more insight into the short stack play in tournaments. You can always watch more free poker tutorial videos at the Poker School at pattypowerpoker.com.